All right, in this video, I'm going to find an equation for a parabola that satisfies a couple conditions. Um, in the first one, we want the conditions to, to be that the vertex is sitting at the origin, so 0, 0. And the focus is sitting here at 0, 4 fifths. So I'm going to label that 0, 4 fifths. It's definitely not a point on our, uh, on our graph, but I'm just going to label it there just to remind us. So I know that the parabola would have to be opening upwards in this case. So to me, that tells me that it has an equation of the form x squared equals 4p times y. And again, to me, all p represents, p is just the distance between, um, it's the distance between my vertex to the focus. Well, in this case, the distance would be 4 fifths. So to find the equation, all I have to do is just use x squared equals 4 times, well, 4 fifths y. And that says x squared would equal 16 fifths times y. Or equivalently, if we multiplied both sides by 5 over 16, we would get 5 over 16 x squared equals y. And now we've got the equation of our parabola. So let's see, uh, one other one here. Suppose we have a parabola with a vertex at the origin and a directrix of x equals negative 3. So let's see, so now if the parabola is, the vertex is at the origin, it has a directrix of x equals negative 3. All right, well, in this case, um, since the directrix kind of sits behind the, the parabola, I know that the parabola is going to be opening to the right. So in this case, it's going to have a form y squared equals 4 times p times x. And again, the only thing, the way I think about p is, p is basically the distance from my vertex to my directrix. So in this case, my p would have a value of 3. And it says we would get y squared equals 4 times 3 times x, or we would get y squared equals 12x. Equivalently, we could just divide both sides. We would get 1 12th y squared equals x. And again, now we've got the equation of our parabola.